and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Band aren't with me this evening, but I did get some Fab Fit Fun in. So, and I've seen everybody else get their boxes, and I'm like, where's mine? And then I got to my mom's house today, and there it was. And it looks like they had delivered it to the wrong address, which they do a lot around here. I'm not really sure how they don't know with all the packages I get on um, what the correct address is, but I've got it, so that's all that matters. So let's see what I got. All right, so this box looks like some of my add-ons, and so hopefully my big box is in the other box. So I'm gonna go over what's in this box that's not a mystery bundle. So the first thing is the Caravan Lazy Susan. And this, I think I got it on for like $18. And I thought this would be really cute on my table. And I could put like, um, you know, seasonings on it that we use regularly. Um, my little pinch bowl for salt. I don't know, whatever, like little mini candles. Or if we were doing like, um, taco or burrito night or, or anything. Sometimes like when I do stuff, I kind of like make it a build your own. So um, like my daughter likes vegetables, but she doesn't like them cooked too much. So like peppers have to be very um, quickly sauteed. So I'll do like things on the side so she can kind of add in either raw peppers or some sauteed peppers or whatever she likes. So it's not huge, which I actually like. So um, Just trying to kind of, so from my elbow to just above my wrist, um, it's got that on the bottom. So I think this is a cute little size. I always, I, you know, I know it has dimensions, but I don't know if you're like me, you don't really read it. I always expect things to be bigger when I get them. But I'm happy with this size. The one thing I did when they did that um, Dutch oven, I did read the size on that. And I was like, that's gonna be too small. I'm not gonna be happy with that. Right, next, um, this was a Boost My Box item. I think it was like 25 or 26 by T's T. And I almost didn't get it, but I went back in and was like, yeah, you know what? Let me grab that because I thought, well, the price really isn't bad. what it is. It's kind of cute. The box is like a little. So this is the small heated mug. It does come with some tea bags. So this has, I think it's either loose leaf or, or tea bags. And then we have the plate that you put the mug on that you plug in to heat it up. This cord is very short. I'm not sure where they think my electrical outlets are, but they're not like up on the wall. I'm going to bring this to work. And then you have your nice ceramic mug with a lid. And then there's a little spout there for this teeny tiny little spoon. So cute. Um, and then you could also like hang your, the string from your tea bag out from there. Or if it's um, with loose leaf tea a lot, we have kind of some bigger kind of diffusers to put in there. So that would be perfect for that. Okay, another boost to my box was the Nelson J. Beverly Hills uh, shampoo and conditioner, which was $12.50 for the pair. And I do get this for my daughter. It's great on her kind of very thick curly hair. Uh, by Verb is a repair mask for your hair. I think this was really, really cheap. I don't, I have the price somewhere. By Bosch, we have the Petty in the Box, the um, Watermelon one, and it's three, and I've gotten this before, and it's really nice. I think I included one in um, my January Subscriber of the Month um, giveaway. And by Laura Geller is the Lip Scrub and Tint Duo. And again, I feel like this was like really inexpensive. 
and I'd been wanting to try it and I was like, you know, usually I just get my three mystery bundles and very little else or I'll get like a whole bunch of hair care stuff and I wanted to do kind of more fun stuff this time around. So I did take a chance on a lot of things that were like I think this was $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. So on things that weren't very expensive, but that I thought, you know, that's cute. So there is the lip scrub piece of it. And it is just kind of like a, uh, like a sugar scrub in a lipstick form. I would be concerned about how long that stays before it falls off. And then there is the gloss. Not as pink as it looked in the pictures, but you know, I'll, I'll play around with it. All right, I got another box. It's a big box. All right, so by a mass is the Basilic Breath Hand Sanitizer. And I just thought with a name like Basilic Breath, I had to try that. So here, what it looks like. This was pretty cheap. They had like other things. They had like a candle. Kind of got a, a pepperminty smell. I would not think that a Basilic would have pepperminty breath. Uh, basil, peppermint, rosemary, sage, and thyme. I know it had the scent notes um, listed because I always check that. And this is made in Los Angeles, California. I'm just surrounded by stuff. Okay, by herbivore this is the cloud jelly um this was maybe a little bit more pricey than some of the other things but i don't know i was just drawn to it by the name cloud jelly and it's pink Ooh, that does go on like It's kind of like how you think jellyfish would feel if they didn't sting. No, I don't really, I'm not really picking up the scent on this. That could be me, I'm a little hard of smelling these days. All right, by Becca Cosmetics. This was a little mini bundle. I peeked at my mystery bundles. I got some really good ones and I got some really lame ones. But the good ones are so good. All right, by Becca Cosmetics, this is the Light Gleam. And I bought this because Miss Jackie recommends it. Um, or at least the lipsticks. This is the Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadow in Lunar. I feel like this was like two shades. Yes. Okay, so the primer base is a matte. And then the topper is this sparkly one. Oh, and that's a brush, not a dofa. super pretty. All right. Nice call, Miss Jackie. Nice call. And the liquid, liquefied light highlighter in acceptance. So pretty.
Oh, look at that. This does come out in a big plop. You can see there's some shine there. All right, we got some green goo foot care. Love green goo. Some happy socks. I think these were like 350 or something like that. I'm gonna give these to the kids. The Phillips Philip Kingsley moisture balancing shampoo and conditioner all right this was a set i don't remember what it was or why i ordered it but oh okay this is the mks nourish shampoo and conditioner and i think i got this for the kid Smells nice. There's the conditioner. I got this because I have the, I have one of these at home and I love the smell. This is the Craft and Foster. This is the Orchid in Amber and I have the Guava and Fig one at home. And it's just a room spray, but it smelled so nice. Mmm, yeah. And I leave this in the bathroom in hopes that, you know, Somebody will spray after they're done. I guess I am. By Humankind is the moisturizing hand scrub. Can't imagine why I would want a moisturizing hand scrub. This is by Ico, and it's the Double Act Shadow Stick with Sharpener. And I believe I got this in a um, allure box, so I'm not even going to open this. I'm going to put this in a giveaway by um, Velvet Luxe, oh, by Vosh, the Velvet Luxe um, lotions, body lotions, and they are cucumber fresh and tangerine glow. So these are um, vegan body and hand creams. And I think I'm going to bring this one into work and give it to a lady I work with um, who's vegan. And I thought, you know what? I've never brought her anything, and I think she would probably like something like that. By Laura Geller is the Spackle Skin Perfecting Waterproof Eye Primer in Fair to Light. And so this is one of those, it's got like this brush here and you're going to just, all right, that took some doing. All right, so there is some color to that. Let's, oh, that's a nice kind of thick canvas for your, your eye. By London Town is a cuticle cream. All right, so that's just for your cuticles. It's, you know, it's nothing fancy, but you know, I love nail stuff, so. Right, I got a B12 Awake um, patch, and these are your four of them. They go on your wrist. And I don't know, they're like infused with herbs, and I don't know, I just thought that was kind of something neat to try. Oh, I got my free, alcohol-free beer. I'm gonna give this to my stepdad. I'd be very excited. And what FabFitFun sale is complete without, you guessed it, sponge out. So I got the um, Peony Blush. These are $7 each. It smells nice. Like it doesn't have like an overly perfumed smell, at least it's through the plastic. And you can reuse the buffers in a variety of ways. The Elderweiss. So this was new. There were some new scents. And I had all of them in my basket. And then I then I said, wait a minute. 
let's go take a look at the bathroom closet. And then I said, oh, I have a problem. Okay, I'll just get a few. All right. So there's like a little ribbon that goes through that hole right there so it can hang. This is very light. Like I almost don't smell anything at all. I'm not going to cut it open because uh, I'm not going to use it anytime soon. And Naked Lady Belladonna. Oh, let me see. What's it say in here? It says something. This is the Elevation collection. Okay, this is also very lightly scented as well. So that might be part of this collection is that it's a much lighter scent. So if you are sensitive to scents but want to try this, this may be a good collection for you because usually like you can just smell. When I open the box I can smell. Like I mean the fact that fun box, not even these boxes. So um so this has pineapple, tuberose, and tonka bean are this, the top, middle, and um, bottom scents. This one is sere, uh, sere, sage, pear, and soft wood. And this one doesn't have the scent notes, but it's, you know, peony scented. All right, well, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and leave a comment below, and tell me what you got in your FabFitFun box, or what, um, you know, what add-ons you got, or what add-ons you were excited about. All right, thanks so much, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.